Hey everyone, just before I start, I did a cute little Insta video of this makeup look. If you want to check that out on my Instagram, Andrea K underscore MU8. <laughs> Do it. Today is a long awaited video. Really excited. I'm excited on, in every video. I'm going to be showing you how I use my Zala hair extensions. So I didn't want to film anything until I wore the extensions a few times just so I know how they feel and I know what to like say. And then I also decided to buy the ponytail as well. So I wanted to... Seriously? I decided to get the ponytail as well. So I wanted to put both extensions in this video. I've ordered twice from Zala and I'm really happy with the delivery except for one thing. It's not Zala's fault. It's the post office this fault. When you check out of Zala, you can choose whether you want to leave it at the door or sign on delivery. And obviously I'm going to choose sign on delivery because it's like $200 and that will just go in one second if someone comes up to my house and just goes, I'll take that. And both times I asked for sign on delivery and both times they left it at the door. So I don't know if that's just me, but it says specifically on the packet, sign for delivery like sign sign and no uh, just left it there whatever when i ordered my hair extensions um the first time they gave me like a nice booklet and some cards and stuff and a free gift which was a little lippy this color is called vampy and smells like red to starbucks starbucks Red Starburst. And I love it. And then the second time I ordered, they gave me another lipstick and it's called Iced Coffee and it's this color. Pretty. So every time you order, you get a free lippy. They gave me this uh, little booklet to tell you what they have. They talk about the clip-in range and what colors they have in what length lengths there's a lot of colors which i think is great a lot of different like there's belly arch extensions and streaks extensions and there's before and after photos there's a whole range of accessories that you can buy from zala that they tell you about they also have tape and extensions where you can like leave them in for like i think they last eight weeks you get them done professionally at your hairdresser. And because it's 100% human hair, you can tone the hair, you can cut the hair, you can straighten, blow dry, curl, dye the hair. So it tells you like how to properly do it without ruining the extensions because they are really expensive extensions. There's a competition that Zala do every single month and they give away $200 vouchers. You have to put up a photo with your Zala hair extensions in and hashtag Zala hair extensions to be in the running. I'm gonna do that. Yep. Um, when I purchased my hair extensions, I got this pack to like keep my hair extensions in like tact. It came with this brush and it's called a loop brush. And it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but the brush is like loops. Like each little bristle thing is a loop. And I don't know what it does and I don't know. I don't know. I got two Zala hair extension clips to section off the hair. And I also got this. You keep your hair extensions in, you clip them up, and it's got a little hanger so you can hang it in your cupboard, which is what I do. I think this is the best because before I bought this, my hair extensions were just everywhere and they'd get so tangled and gross. But this is cool. I like this. I like it a lot. I'm going to start off with the ponytail extension, tell you what I think about it, and how I put it on. So this is what it comes in, and it has... Tips at the back, care for your hair. Oh. So it says, avoid swimming in chlorine or salt water. Wash your hair extensions rarely. Use the low settings on curling iron straighteners and hair dryers. Brush your extensions gently from tip to top. From tip to top. I think they mean top to tip. Tip to top. Does it make sense? Do not hesitate to contact our friendly team. 100% Remy hair. I mean, human Remy hair. I've never worn this out. I only got it the other day. Um, it's in the color chocolate brown. And this ponytail extension is 22 inches. I will show you what it looks like. So this is exactly how it came. I just put it away exactly how it came. So this is the hair. 
It is so soft. It's 100% human hair and it was, I don't even know how much it was. I should probably find that out. So there are two types of ponytail extensions, one being the 100% keratin hair and the other being 100% human hair extensions. I was going to get the keratin because it was a lot cheaper, but watching YouTube videos and looking at reviews, it wasn't like, it was just better off paying that little extra to get the human hair. It's a lot softer and a lot nicer and a lot more real. So I got 100% human hair in 22 inches. I already said that in the color chocolate brown. 140 grams, $190. For this for this I think with hair extensions you definitely want to spend your money on it because you want it to look real like make your hair look fake do you know what I mean you gotta spend your money on extensions if you're gonna get extensions I I I believe so it has a velcro which keeps it together it comes with a little clip at the top and you just wrap it around your hair and then this wraps around the ponytail to hide the Velcro bit. Very self-explanatory, very easy. And I'm gonna put it on my hair right now. I didn't mention this before, but um, Zala also sent me a hair tie the same color as my hair. They also recommended to use two hair ties, but my hair's really, really thick, so when I did it, it just made the ponytail like a lot thicker than it should be. So what I'm gonna do, you get the ponytail and just brush it through my fingers, make sure there's no knots or anything. I've already straightened my hair before, so it falls seamlessly with the hair extension. Are you serious? So with the clip, I'm gonna start about here on my on my head. So it really gets into the ponytail. Oh, yeah. oh. And then I'm gonna wrap the left side first, and then the right side on top, and put the Velcro. And then bring over the side with the little piece of hair on it. Oh, I didn't bring any bobby pins. I don't have any bobby pins with me. That's all right. I'm gonna do it over once. So this is gonna really secure the ponytail. Okay, so I don't have any bobby pins with me right now. I'm just going to use one of these clips. So this is the extension. It's a lot longer than my natural ponytail. I've watched so many videos on YouTube about using your hair extensions, like the clip-in hair extensions, to make a ponytail. And I tried that, but because my hair is so thick and I need it to blend really nicely, my head would turn into a cone because there were so many extensions around the one area. So I thought, you know what? I want a bloody ponytail. So I'm just gonna buy a ponytail extension. And I love it. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and I can't remember where I left off. So the color is perfect. I love the color. It's exactly what, I, it's exactly the same color as my hair. It's so soft. I just brushed it with this and it was already soft. But then after brushing it with this, it just went so much more softer. So this is 100% human Remy hair, which means I can style it and wash it and blow dry it and all that stuff with a heat protectant spray. The only thing is you don't want to wash the extensions too often. This is the same with the normal clip-in extensions because the oils that have been put into this hair to make it soft and shiny and look very real will get washed out and because the extensions don't produce oils like your actual hair produces oils you need to like not wash your hair all that often and i really like the length there's only 16 22 and 26 inches actually i think it comes in 12 inches as well um, i went with 22 because the clipping hair extensions i bought are 20 inches and the next length up was 26 inches which is really long. Now moving on to the clip in hair extensions. I've worn these a few times out now and they're quite heavy. I got the nine piece set 20 inch in the shade chocolate brown. I got nine pieces because my hair is so thick 
already. And if I got five pieces, it just would have looked weird. So for the five piece set, which is 120 grams, it is $140 Australian. And for the nine piece set, which is 220 grams, it is $230 Australian. So I spent $230. So the ends are curled from the last time I wore them. So thick, so like, oh, they're so thick. They're about as thick as my hair and my hair is thick. My hair's already heavy as it is. Then putting the same amount of hair on my head, it is really heavy. That's just one con about it. And my head does hurt at the end of the night. But in order for my hair to look as natural as possible, I have to put all nine of them in. So if you get the nine piece set, it comes with two wefts with five clips, three wefts with three clips, two wefts with two clips, and two wefts with one clip. My hair was washed yesterday. And what I would recommend is teasing your hair before you put the extensions in because it just sits better. Whereas if your hair's freshly washed, it's very soft and could slip out. I don't have layers in my hair. So all my whole hair length is thick from top to bottom. So if I turn around, it's cut straight across. Because it's cut straight across, I want my hair to blend as nicely as possible into these extensions. That's why I prefer curling my hair with the extensions in. I think a lot of people prefer curling their hair with the extensions in just because it blends a lot nicer than straight hair. Leave as much hair at the bottom as I can. If you start higher, there'll be less hair at the top. So it won't look as much like extensions. So where I like to start is the top of my knee. Oh, maybe a little bit higher because my head's a bit small. Put this hair away and I'm going to get a three clip extension. So like I said before, I really recommend teasing the bit, this bit before putting the clips in. It will guarantee the extensions to not fall out or slip down. So what I do is I get the middle clip and put it straight in the middle. Oops. And then get the other two clips and put them in. Now with another three clips, I'm going to make it a little bit higher, so just a bit above my ear on both sides. And then I'm going to get another three clip, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. So start with the middle clip and do the out clips. Then I'm going to get another section and I'll do that a little bit higher, so maybe just on my temple area. Now, because this is the largest part of my head, I'm going to get the five clips. Um, I have, like I said, two five clips. The same with the three clips. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. Now, just, I'm gonna make another section just a little bit higher, because I like both of the five clips to be close together. And then do the same thing, start in the middle, work my way out. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm gonna make another section. So this is gonna be the last section of the back of the head, which means whatever's left up here is gonna be on top. So you don't want it to be too thick. At the same time, you don't want it to be too thin because then you will see the wefts. I'm gonna get the, the three clips, start in the middle, work my way out. When I'm wearing extensions, I prefer to part my hair down the middle just because it's a lot easier for me. Okay, so for the front of my hair, I'm going to be using the two two clips and the two one clips. I'm gonna part my hair directly down the middle a finger length from the part. I'm gonna make my little part, but I'm gonna try and part it straight across because force of habit, I normally part my head, my hair towards the crown, which I think everyone does. So you try part it downwards. I'm gonna get the two clip, start at the front, 
clip it in, then at the back. Then, not that much higher, I'm gonna put the one clip. And this is how long my hair is now. The first time I ever wore extensions, they were really, really, really heavy on my head. I'm now starting to get used to it, but it's still got that same feeling like when you wear a bra and at the end of the day you just rip it off and it's just a relief. That's what it feels like when you take your hair extensions out after a long night. A lot of people I've seen in YouTube videos and stuff will curl their hair, their hair extensions and their hair separately, then put the hair extensions in. I recommend putting the hair extensions in first, then curling the hair all together. So it's very like seamless and it looks like one long length of hair. That's what I do personally and what I prefer to do. Use the lowest setting you can on your hair straightener or curling iron or hair dryer, however you style your hair, because you don't want to burn the hair extensions because there's no turning back after that. You don't want to give your hair extensions split ends. Once you cut them off, they don't grow back. Don't wash them all too often, only when you really kind of need to, because when you curl your hair, obviously you need to spray it with hairspray to keep it intact and the buildup of hairspray on the extensions you obviously need to wash your hair but like I said earlier there's no oils for the hair extensions to produce to make them look silky and make them look smooth and like make them look natural I 150 million percent recommend getting Zala hair extensions they are amazing they are definitely on the pricier side but they are definitely worth the money for my first pair of hair extensions, I'm very happy. Um, same with the ponytail, I'm really happy with the ponytail and the length and everything, so love that. I probably should have said this at the beginning, but another cool thing with Zala is that if you don't know what color to get, you can send a photo of yourself and they will tell you what color will best suit you. And if you don't get the right color for your hair, you can send it back straight away, but make sure to keep that little tag on it, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I kind of need to say, but definitely check out Zala. Don't be scared of the price. They have Afterpay, which is the best thing ever. Instead of paying $230 in one hit, you can pay, you pay $60 every two weeks. So payday comes around and then bam, just put that towards the extensions and you've already got them. The extensions come in two to four days maximum in Sydney. If you order before 2 p.m., they send it out the day you order it, but you get it the next day. There's so many reviews and so many like cool tutorials on how to wear your Zala hair extensions, so definitely check them out as well. So if you want to buy the tape and extension range, I have a code tape trial 15 and you get $15 off if you buy tape and hair extensions. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions about Zala or anything, you can leave a comment below or message me or anything. But like if you have some serious questions, definitely email the Zala team. Their customer service team is great, so definitely. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video. See ya sis. Oh, shout out to Liv Wang. Yeah, your life will turn just like a straw. Cause your daddy's vain and your mother won't. And your heart engages into heartless roles. Are we a city?